make it a simple YouTube channel. In one of my video, I explained about what is CDK, why we are using it, and its terminology like constructs, tags, and the app, and history of infrastructure as a code with its pros and cons. And also, I explained about how to install the CDK in our local system with the help of Node Package Manager and how to create a sample application and explain how to deploy and install the stacks. If you didn't go through that video, just go through it and come back to this video. I have given the video link in the description section. Moreover, I will give you a short brief of CDK once again. The CDK is AWS Cloud Development Kit allows you to describe your application infrastructure using the general purpose programming language such as like TypeScript, Python, JavaScript or .NET. And also with the help of using your favorite IDE, you can get the benefits of autocomplete and creating the abstraction and also like so on. And of course, writing the test cases for your infrastructure, like how you do write tests for your application. If you notice, after writing the CDK and when doing CDK synth, it will generate the cloud formation template, which in turn used to deploy our infrastructure. It will be there in our cdk.out folder in your solution file. So only with the help of the cloud formation template, can we able to create or update the infrastructure? If this is a question, I can say no. There are many other ways or tools used to create the infrastructure. One of the most commonly and widely used option is Terraform. Terraform is a open source infrastructure code or tool I can say that provides a consistent CLA workflow to manage the hundred of cloud services. It is a cloud agnostic tool and used with a wide variety of cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP and many more. And also it uses the HCL like ASHICorp configuration language for the infrastructure definition. It is a unique configuration language used to design with the ASHICorp tools like most probably with the Terraform. And also like nowadays it is expanded as a more general configuration language. Its visuals are more similarly like a JSON only with some additional data structure and some capabilities built in that's it. And now the situation is like you want to write the infrastructure as a code for different cloud providers like AWS, Azure etc. And Terraform is notably the cloud agnostic tool for writing the infrastructure as a code. And you know only the concept of Terraform and don't know how to write the infrastructure using HCL like ASHICorp configuration language. But you are familiar with your programming language like TypeScript, Java, Python or .NET. Then how can we define or create our infrastructure using Terraform? Here comes the solution like CDK. With the help of CDK itself, you can write a different infrastructure that will convert into Terraform file which will be called as CDK TF. Like I can say CDK for Terraform. So in this video, we will explain about how to define and provision the infrastructure without learning the ASHICorp configuration language using CDK TF. The main prerequisite for the videos to follow is the basic knowledge on AWS services, TypeScript and the high level understanding of Terraform concept. CDK for Terraform is more or less same or similar like CDK only. It allows you to use a familiar, familiar program language like you can make use of TypeScript, Python, Java or C Sharp and go everything over here and it will give you access to en access to the entire Terraform ecosystem I can say without learning the ASHICorp configuration language and it can leverage the benefits of existing tool chains wherever it, it will be and it will create the Terraform files and you can be able to generate or you can deploy the files for any of the cloud agnostic providers. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's see how this CDK for Terraform work. So CDK what it will do is like it will like, uh, leverage the concept and libraries from CDK to translate your code. At a high level what you have to do is like you need to create an application like if there is a built-in for template will be there you can choose your language and then you can define the infrastructure. Using the uh, language you can you have to define your infrastructure like what are the infrastructure you want you can define infrastructure and then you can just deploy it using the CLI command you can deploy it that Terraform files. So the prerequisite for to in order to use CDK TF is like you need to have the Terraform with the version greater than 1.0 and Node.js greater than 14 and we need to install the CDK TF CLI as like how we have installed the CDK CLI in the globally. Similarly we need to make use of Node Package Manager and you need to install it over there. Now let's get into the demo for how to make use of this code and how to deploy it. And as I, as I said right as I already installed my CDK TFCLI to make sure whether it is installed I can make verify the installation through this command CDK TF hyphen hyphen help or I can make use of version command. So what I will do is like I can make use of version command so it will give it over here. Now let's see what you have to do. And uh, uh, what you have to do is like if you don't know about the commandments you can just make use of help command and also if you want to know more details means you can just give the command 
and uh, you can give the sub command like suppose i want to initialize and i want to know about the command means you just give iphone iphone help means it will give some of the options what are the options it is available with explanation now let's get into create a directory make directory march demo 22 and i am changing the directory to march demo that's it now what i have to do is like i need to create an application similarly like cdk i am giving cdk tf and i am giving initialization i am giving the template so inside the template i can give the language template equal to typescript i am opting for typescript now so i'm just giving a typescript so this will what will do is like it will initialize the brand new cdk for terraform project and it will ask about the cloud management where do you need to cloud is store and all so this is a, a more uh, understanding of how the terraform state management will do so i will give you the explanation about in the upcoming videos like what is a terraform state and how it can be managed as of now you can just give no it will be stored in your local and the project name and all you can give the default only project name project description and all and that's it it will take automatically and it will be accepting the default values and it will create the project code over here if you see in the left hand side it will be created everything in the folder will be there and it will be creating the brand new file for our terraform project using some interactive commands that's it now the next step we'll see about after installing is like we need to install the aws provider because this cdk for tf the it will create the terraform file and it can be used with other providers also like it can be used with google azure everything over here we need to do for aws right for that we need to install the provider of aws so i'm just copying this one and I'm just installing it over here and it will get installed in my package.json as a dependencies so in my dependencies my aws provider will get installed over here let's see what is happening over here yeah it's get installed now what we can do is like we need to define our infrastructure that's it so in the main.ts file you can define the infrastructure for that what i'm doing is like i'm just importing the provider importing the provider from from the provider aws that's it and what is the things i am to do is like i need to define my aws where is my profile and all for that aws provider is an object and what is the construct or what is the service i am going to use so i am going to use sqs for testing and all okay and we will be defining the resource over here first of all i need to tell like where is my code or where is my uh, credentials file will be there for that i am just giving aws provider and similarly same like aws cdk this, this, it will ask for the scope construct this i'm just giving the construct aws construct just giving the string and the next one object is like the properties so what is the properties like i can give the region so the region i can give so what is the region i want to deploy my code is us iphone west iphone one and then where is my what is my profile name so i can give my profile name as like my profile name in the credentials file is like karthik iphone iim that's it and then where is my pro credentials file will be there so there is no property called shared credentials file so where i can have it my code is like inside the c folder so i have in my code slash inside the demo iphone march 22 so here is my uh, uh, shared credential file will be there and that's it and i want to create a resource for that i am just creating a constant q and i can make use of the object which i have created new sqs dot so i will be creating the sqs queue similarly the construct so i am giving this and next one is like the data or a string so demo sqs i am just giving some string and then the properties so for the properties you can give like what is the properties you can have like i am giving the name i am giving the name as like demo march 22 and that's it for other one like uh, visibility timeout <coughs> i don't know the value of this so what i can what the type means i just give the f12 and i can able to see what is the type it is so its type is number so what i can do is like i can just give the 30 number that's it and i want to print the output for that from the cd terraform uh, providers i'm just make use of aws not aws terraform output terraform output i can make use of it and here what i'm doing is like 
I want to print that output. So new Terraform output. Similarly, like this is a scope and the output. I can give the string as output. And what I'm doing is like I want to give the properties. So value value what value I want to print is like the queue q inside the queue i can get the properties of arn that's it q dot arn that's it now everything is done what i did is like i just added the provider cloud provider aws from there i want to create a queue for this one i created the sqs and this by using aws provider we need to tell like what is the region profile and shared credential file otherwise if you know the access key and security you can give it directly over here but that's not a best practices and i just added the terraform output to print the value and this is similarly like cdk like this is my app and it will do the synth after doing the synth what it will do is like it will generate the cloud formation template you can able to see it over here just saving it and what i have to do is like i can give cdk not cdk cdk tf here cdk tf i can make use of deploy command i don't know what is happening what is sub command means i can just give help it will list down what are the sub command it will have so most probably what they will do is like it will make use of auto approve auto approve means it won't ask for the question it won't ask for the approval like yes or no so i am giving you cdk deploy itself let's see inside the deploy itself it will do the synth command so i don't want to give the uh, uh, separate synth command let's see cdk tf what will do is here before that here i'm just refreshing my sqs page it doesn't have any queue and it is synthesizing the co code let's see what is happening over here i see here the cdk tf dot out file is generated and inside this stack it will generate the file cdk tf dot json file and this is the file which is written in ashicorp configuration language so this is more similar like a json syntax but it will have the configuration language format uh, okay here it will ask a question i didn't give auto approve so i need to give yes so once it give yes it started to create it let's see and this is the resources and it is the terraform backend remote state management where do i need to do so you don't need to worry about it in the upcoming session i will explain about what is terraform state management and where we need to store whether we need to store in local or in s3 or in the terraform cloud itself so this is the file which is got generated using the synth similarly in cdk it will generate the cloud formation template here it generate the template with the with respect to ashicorp configuration language now if i refresh it over here you can able to see yeah see my uh, queue has, has been created over here this is the queue which i get created cdk tf demo march 22 and it's got get created that's it and now uh, and see here the output get printed this is the output which i printed over here like q.arn and now if you want to uh, destroy or means just give cdk tf destroy again i don't know the command means sub command means you can give help it will list down again we have auto approve here so uh, this time i don't want to ask for the approval so you just give for the auto approve and just copying it pressing it over here now it will automatically clear my resources and all that's it so this is a, a simple way like how to create your infrastructure as a code for your terraform with, it, with respect to terraform this cloud de development kit for terraform will help us to define an infrastructure without knowing about the ashicorp configuration language you just know the high level understanding of terraform and what it is this and you can make use of your own programming language and you can get all the benefits of it and when to use a cdk for terraform is like you have a kind of strong preference like you can make use of your own language and also you need to create some abstractions or for example i can say like to manage the complexity you want to create some abstraction layer means you can make use of it and also one more thing i need to explain is like the cdk for terraform is under active development and they are still working out for the key workflows and best practices this tool can be used with the terraform cloud and terraform enterprises and mostly like it is not recommended for production use cases because it's still in active development as of now just know about the concept of what is cdk for terraform and how to write it over here and as i said like cdk uh, tf destroy right? destroy the command and if i refresh it the resources has been get cleared so if you have any doubts on installing or uh, uh, doing the configuration for the cdk for terraform just add me in the comment section i'll be very happy to help you guys thank you guys for watching my videos have a good day